Hey everyone, how are you all doing today and welcome again to another video. Before I start, I want to apologize again. I still do not have my mask on me, so I can't use it as of yet. Still waiting. I'm not sure why it's taking so long, but fingers crossed it gets to me, literally, by end of this week or worst case scenario by next week, but I'll keep you all posted on uh, any changes or when it hopefully does arrive. Now, uh, moving on to the video, I wanted to kind of showcase this video to you all to kind of give you an idea of what I like to do, personally speaking, uh, prior to submitting my cards to my middleman or if you decide to submit it straight into the grading companies themselves So like Beckett PSA or whatever, but with that said, let's get into the video Alrighty, so basically let's start off with what you basically need first So most importantly um, when you do pull out a card like this beautiful card here So this is the evil Saiyan Malice Made Flesh. I pulled this card out basically off stream And so you can see here what I've done is I've put it in a penny sleeve So a penny sleeve is basically a sleeve that is obviously much wider and It pretty much leaves room for the card So then the edges with the corners don't get hindered basically now usually what people like to do is they'll place them in these grading sleeves so you can see it right there and in my case I don't have to do that just because my middlemen usually will place it in a grading sleeve themselves and what they usually do is they return back my top loaders and simple but you can put them in whatever you want a top loader is also fine to be fair you can even submit it as is it just makes it easier for the graders to take out the card rather than taking it out from a top loader so yeah that's why people prefer grading sleeve supposedly than this but it doesn't really matter and then secondly most importantly is a tab a tab basically just to pull the card out without having to actually pull the penny sleeve itself or the card itself so it doesn't hinder its capabilities of getting the highest grade possible so you pull it out just like that and so it's much easier for the grader to, to pretty much yeah take out the card and retrieve it and, and simple and simple so that's that's basically the intro of how I like to place my cards in prior to getting them sent off. So that's really the way it should be. The second thing that I like to do, specifically if I'm even sending to the likes of Beckett. Now, of course, we know that the highest grade you can get is a black label. And in particular, what I like to do is I like to use a microscope. Now, it might be a bit of an overkill, but the reason is because obviously you want to maximize your ability to getting that black label because black labels are extremely hard to get. And so by using a microscope, you're able to kind of identify any potential issues to the card that you may think that may not be worth, you know, sending it to the likes of Beckett for a black label, for example. But if you're happy that you can see maybe a, f a few small errors that maybe could push the grade to at least a gold label 10, for example, then by all means, you know. But I know for the likes of PSA, because they're pretty lenient, here's obviously an example of a card that I got graded. And I honestly thought this particular See, <laughs> literally, this Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Son Goku, I literally thought was going to get a 9 or an 8. Now, I say that because if you guys can just see that there, I don't know if you can really see it that well, but there are these print lines that go across. And, I mean, PSA usually are pretty lenient on it. You can even see another one down there. They're pretty lenient with it. Um, as long as the centering and usually the foiling is okay, they shouldn't have a problem with it. Um, from my understanding, but then again, I'm not really sure how you know, the likes of PSA and how Beckett grade. But get yourself, I don't know, I mean, any standard microscope that you can find on, for example, like AliExpress or just anywhere in your local store. This was like literally maybe 25 New Zealand dollars. Nothing crazy, you know, honestly. And it works pretty fine. I mean, at the end of the day, it pretty much gets the job done for me. And yeah, there's not much to it. And if you really want to, if you want to go to the next step, is to of course get yourself some nitrile black gloves blue gloves whatever it may be it's really up to you and yeah pretty much go from there but anyway i'm now going to shift you guys across to my laptop and basically from there you will see the close-up images of what i like to look at with the card now as you can see basically we are under the microscope i think this is like i don't know maybe like a hundred magnificent <laughs> You serious? What I like to do is I like to just kind of quickly look through the foiling mainly. I mean, in this case, I'm praying. I, I'm pretty sure that this Malice Made Flesh is pretty mint. I'm going to send this off to PSA, but I like to have a quick look at just the foiling itself, looking for any scratches in particular. And I don't see any at the moment. But you can see it's a beautiful looking card, though. Eh? You can tell. It's really nice. And... 
just across there. You can see there is a decent amount of foiling. Very textured, right? It, it is very textured, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's really the gist of what I like to do. And then if you really wanted to, you can have a look at the edges as well. I mean, if you really wanted to, but I think that's a bit too much. But yeah, usually in this case, you I mean, you can see it within the naked eye, usually, that's just the case. But I mean, like I said, if you really wanna go like crazy, crazy, then you can definitely do this. But like I said, I only ever really do this if I feel like there might be a defect in the car that may potentially hinder it from getting a black label, but that's just me. Well, there you go, everyone. That pretty much wraps up another video for you all. I really hope you all have enjoyed this. If you have, please give this a big thumbs up, and of course, please subscribe to the channel as you can see there above. Let me know what your grading process is and how you like to do things. I'm really interested to know what you all do. Like I said, the microscope's a bit of an overkill. I only rarely ever use it, but when I do, like I said, it's for Beckett. But anyway, I hope you guys all have enjoyed this. And as always, stay tuned for more videos to come. Hoping that Mars comes very soon. And from there, hopefully uh, the content will get a bit more spicier. <laughs> but anyway, have a great day, everyone. I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Peace.